Well, because I have a job at Colby College, you know? Um, and I like Maine. Actually, this is the wrong week to ask me about why I live there. Because in fact, <laughs> it's the question that everyone in Maine asks themselves uh, during the month of March. You know, in Maine, we have, a, we have an expression, which is that uh, June showers... No, I'm sorry, no, wait, no. June comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> the July showers bring August flowers. Um, I like it up there. I like it. I mean, wh you know what's funny? One of the things I found is, I've t I mean, I'm on this Mondo book tour right now, and so I, I've traveled all over the country, literally everywhere. And um, one of the things I've noticed, particularly, they, they give you what they call, I love this phrase, media escort. Like, how nasty does that sound? Media <laughs> escort. Basically, it's these people whose job it is is like to to meet you at the airport and drive you around mm -hmm. and make sure that you get to the radio station on time and you go to the TV show and you're reading and all this stuff um, and the and so every single media escort essentially and not just them I guess everybody in a way wants you to adopt their view of the world and part of adopting their view of the world is you really ought to you ought to move out here when I was in Portland, Oregon, they couldn't understand, why, would you, why, don't, why wouldn't you, I mean, it was, it, she didn't say it directly, but essentially, she was just one question shy of, why don't you just move out here? And same thing in Seattle, same thing in San Francisco, oh my God, in San Francisco, what, what, what? So in, in Los Angeles, where it was, of course, 85 degrees, the, the first week of February, and, you know, everyone was like, yeah, well, you might want to think about relocating, you know, uh, in, I mean, I've, I've never yet been to a place where the people don't think that if you don't live there, you're crazy. <laughs> In a way, I think the thing about, about Maine is that we know if you do live there, we know you're crazy. <laughs> um, nine months of the year, Maine is my favorite place to live. And three months of the year, I tear my hair out thinking, oh man, I gotta get out of here. Mm. But you know, my children are now 14 and just about 12. Um, and I don't really, you know, I don't want to uproot them, particularly. Um, we're very, I mean, I feel that we're very fortunate. Have, I mean, people like us, you know, and we're in, in that community. Um, it's a tiny little town, you know, it's like, I think it's under 4,000 people. Um, people don't think of my kids as, you know, the Boylan house is not like the, the, the Boo Radley house where people <laughs> have to, you know, go up and touch the front door on a dare. Um, my kids are known and liked in their school. If someone said, did you know that Zach's, one of Zach's parents had a sex change? The response is going to be, yes, everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you go to the general store, and it's a very conservative Republican little town. If you go to the, if you go to the, 